guys, Jason here from Inshore Fishing. Um, I'm going to start making up another homemade crab pot. Uh, my last one disappeared. I don't. I think to be fair, the tide just took it away. It wasn't very heavy, um, but yeah, it worked well, and we had some nice lobsters out of it and some decent spider crabs. So I'm going to make a new one. Um, I'm going to do it slightly smaller. It's not going to be as big. It'll probably be roughly about as long. It's going to be about a metre long by 500, so half a metre high. Um, so yeah, slightly different shape. But um, yeah, so we're going to start making that. We're going to start, I've got some rebar. And basically, we're going to make the frame, weld it all together again, like I did with the last one, and mash it and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to start cracking on. We're going to get some bits together, and we're going to start cutting the steel. So yeah, let's get the grinder out, guys. Well, guys, you have to excuse the mess in the shed. We're going to start measuring up some of this steel. What we're going to do, what we need guys is the old safety specs, we don't want to be getting uh, metal in the eye. Just cutting them like that. So obviously I need four of them, and then I think I need eight uprisers. We've got plenty of steel. <coughs> So yeah, we're going to crack on, we're going to cut a few more of these. <coughs> this can be a 500. There's no point in wasting it. And then you go, that'll be one of our four. So that's how tall it's going to be. It's not going to be very tall. I'll say the last one I think was one and a half meters by a, maybe a meter high I think it was so yeah right we're gonna get some more steel in four more to go right guys I'm one bit short and do you know what that bit's a little bit short I know it's a bit bent but we're a little bit short 60 mil so I'll have to get another another piece of this, um, but yes, yeah, so you'll get the gist of it. So basically, that'll be the the length of it. That's going to be the width of it, and that'll be the height of it. So it'd be like that. So it'll still be a fair size, but yeah, a little bit short. So yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll get another piece of this, but we'll start welding anyway and uh, getting the frame sort of set together and we'll go from there guys. So yeah, let's crack on with some bit of welding. Do. This is going to be our square. So this is how big our pot's going to be. We've got some magnets there to hold it in place. So outside to outside, like that. That's right. So that's how big our pot's going to be. What I've got to do now is weld these together. That'll be one side, and then I'll do another one for the other side, and then we get the longer ones on. And then what we've got is we've got a load of short ones of these we're going to put in, in the middle all the way along. You'll see what I mean in the video. So what I'm going to do, I've got the welder out, just going to set up now, and uh, we're going to start making some uh, sparks. So, we've got the two squares, so that's going to give you an idea of how long it's going to be. There'll be some more of these, these uprisers, probably one, two, and wherever else it needs it. So now I've got to weld them onto there like that. Right? Right, there you go guys, there you have it, that's the box, okay it's not square but 
uh, it is what it is. So basically one of these is going to be the bottoms. How have I done that? Top to top. So I'll have to weld them on the top. So we'll go one, one two, we're going to go something like that. And that'll be the bottom. Well guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to put some, some pro more um, props in and stuff. <clears throat> Basically this is the neck that I'm using, this is what I'm going for. So you're not going to get big crabs or nothing like that, it's going to be more of a lobster pot. That's going to be the neck, so what I'm going to do, hopefully you can see me right there, is that's going to clip onto the side of there once it's meshed. Then I'll be welding this bar here along the edge, like so, so it's got somewhere to clip in. And then I'll possibly weld another one across here, <clears throat> but we'll see how sturdy it is once it's done. So officially, this is what it will look like. So that will be the entrance like that, and I'll probably have another one on the other end as well. So we're going to get these welded on, guys. What I'm doing now, guys, <clears throat> this is going to put a support in there. So because of the height, I just need to gauge that so that's where it will sit. Top of there, like that, top of there. Right guys, so we're going to look at meshing this then try and keep it nice and tight as possible a bit of a shame using these big cable ties really but once we've got some of it up in place I can then pull along with a um, twine see what I've done is I've tried to do it so that I can hopefully have enough for the uh, door if not I'll buy more for the door obviously This obviously strengthens it up quite a bit once you get the mesh on it, it stops, it stops a lot of movement and stuff. Just hope the welds don't give away. Like I say I'm not the best of welders but it holds. My last pot held well, the only reason I haven't got it is because I lost it. I moved it and I don't know whether it got lost, dragged away with the tide, pinched, I'm not quite sure to be fair but I'll just make a new one eh? Right, it's slowly starting to look like a bit of a crab pot ish. Got a bit of mesh on it now, and that, so just tying off these loose ends here. Get all this binded up together like I've done at the top here. I'll go over it again just to make sure I haven't missed any bits, but yeah, I'll carry on binding that together. Right, guys, so that's our door. <coughs> all we got to do now put the mesh on the door, bind it all together tie it all up, put the door on the on the pot and then that's it, rope the bottom up with leaded rope, rope the top up with floaty rope, happy days, let's get on to making this door. There we go guys, that's the trap, happy days. How's it going guys, back again, right, <clears throat> I've got a load of, this is like off an old net, it's like floating rope off a net, this is what I'm going to bind all this with now, round all the edges, and then what I've got is I've got some leaded rope in the bottom, um, and I'll put the leaded rope around the bottom, obviously to keep the weight down. So we're going to start with this, guys, and we're going to start roping this together, really. Let's crack on. Okay. 
Ada apa? Right, I'm going to carry on with that guys and we'll get you back in a minute once we've done a bit more. Alright guys, getting there look. This was roping all the way along. Like I say, I'll have different rope for this along the bottom edge. But yeah, we're going to carry on roping this up like that. All the way along, down there. Across this side and across over there. We've already caught a welding mask already guys, look in the pot. We haven't even baited it up yet. All right, let's crack on with this. Right, guys, what we're doing is we're putting this black rope, it's leaded. We're binding this round. We've done, like I say, quite a bit at the top and stuff like that. So uh, we're just going, like I said, on the bottom base of this now. This will help keep the weight down. Right, so yeah, like I said, <clears throat> this is uh, pretty much all roped up now. We've got floaty rope or non-leaded rope on the top of the pot everywhere. And on the bottom of the pot here, we've got leaded rope. And that goes down each bar on the bottom as well. So it's quite a bit of, um, not a massive amount of weight, but it's quite a bit of weight on it. it just helps. The doors obviously uh, all been bound together as well now. I'll put the straps on there and stuff. But yeah, so we're gonna put a bit more rope around here, I think, just to tidy it up, make it look a little bit better, hold the mesh there and stuff. And uh, then we're going to look at getting the neck, the, the entrance cut in. Um, we're obviously going to cut a hole in the top here to put a bait band so we can stuff the fish down and then pull it closed. And then it'll just be in a sock in the middle of the pot sort of thing. So yeah, we're going to crack on with that guys and we'll bring you back. Well guys, <clears throat> what we're going to do is, we're going to, this is where the neck's going to go, the entrance. So what we're going to do is we're going to cable tie these because we're going to cut these. Well, we're going to cut the, we're going to be cutting this mesh out, obviously, have for the entrance to go into. So I want to make sure I cable tie these, keep them in place. Right, so we're going to cut them off. I'm sure, I had a Stanley blade. I'm going to cut these off, and then we're going to cut the mesh. Oh, guys, check that out. That's the. Uh, that is. I thought it might have been a little bit flimsy, but you can. There's quite a bit of pressure on that before it starts moving. It's not too far off the bottom, so hopefully the lobsters can get in all right. These I'll probably bend these down just a tad, close that hole off a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna cut these uh, cable ties off now. We'll leave them on there. I'm gonna cut them off, and we we'll get onto the bait bait section where we're gonna put. Well, the bait. this is the bait bag. That's what's gonna sit on the inside of here like that. We'll cut a hole here, have that in there like that, so that we can bait up from the inside. And that will dangle down in the middle. I just don't want to muck this up because if I cut it too much, obviously we're not going to be able to repair it. Well, we will, but it'd be a pain. So, right, I need to concentrate and get on. Right, we've gone for it. So, now what we need to do is cable tie that like that. And then on the inside, I'll have a bit of string or a bit of elastic so I can pull it. And then it will pull it from in the inside, squeeze it tight like that, in theory. It worked on my last pot I'd done, but I'm not going to lie, I can't remember how I quite did it, but yeah, it's pretty much like that. Right guys, that's the sock in, that's the sock in there, so the bait will go in there. What I need to do now is put a bit of this elastic, thread it through on the inside of here, and then that will pop out here, and what I'll do is I'll have that on a hook, which will come down over here, so I'm going to pull that nice and tight, that will squeeze that closed and keep the bait in. Cheers for coming along and watching the old crab pot video. Some of you might like it, some of you might not. You know, I haven't been able to get out and do a lot of rod fishing, so I thought I'd make a pot at home instead. Uh, but yeah, next uh, next time hopefully we'll get it out and uh, fingers crossed we get some lobsters. If we catch as well, we might make some more, but it does take quite a bit of time. How many hours would I say it would take all together? You're looking at half a day, four to five hours, if you were doing it non-stop to make it, I suppose. And to be fair with you, it's cost me, what, 20 quid I reckon. So yeah, cheers for coming along guys. I'd like to say, um, hope you enjoyed the video. But yeah, so um, catch you on the next one guys. Take it easy, stay safe, 
and I will see you later. Cheerio.